In this video, let's go through all the HivePress settings in the HivePress settings section. Just to make sure that the website is set up and functions according to the requirements. Let's start with the Jobs tab. Here you can choose a page that displays all the listings. At the moment let's leave it empty, but later in this course I'll show you how to add pages and we'll come back to this option. If this option is checked, then the listings page will display categories instead of listings until some specific category is selected. With these three options you can set up the number of regular, featured and related listings displayed per page. Also, note that if something is not clear you can hover over the question icon for an extra description. Additionally, you can check our docs or ask a question on the HivePress community forum. For example, thanks to this clue, we know that this option allows us to generate listing titles based on custom fields automatically. Here you can enable zoom in the listing image gallery. In the search section you can select which default fields you want to show in the listing search form. As you can see at the moment we can choose only keywords and categories, but if you add new searchable attributes they will also appear in this drop down list. In the submission section you can adjust the listing submission settings. For example, you can link custom terms of use page to require employers to accept them before adding a new job listing. If you are building a job board website where you want to add all new job openings manually by yourself, then you can uncheck this option to hide the front-end listing submission form. Please note that the listing moderation is enabled by default, so the site admins will have to approve every listing manually before it appears on the front end. Uncheck this option if you want to publish listings automatically without approving them first. This one allows users to report listings for any reason that violates your website terms. If you want listings to be published for a limited time, in this section you can set the expiration period by setting the number of days after which a listing expires. Also, here you can set the number of days after which an expired listing is deleted permanently. We'll come back to this tab later in this course when we'll be talking about monetization of your job board website. Now let's move to the next tab. The next is the company's tab. Please note that companies and vendors are synonyms in HivePress. In the display section you can define whether you want to display companies on the front end at all. If so, then similarly to listings, you can select a page that displays all companies and set the number of companies per page. Display name. This defines how the company's name will be displayed. In the search section, you can select which default fields you want to show in the company search form. Finally, in the registration section you can allow direct registration. By default to become a vendor a user has to add at least one listing. But if you enable this option then users will be able to register as companies without submitting listings at all. That's all for companies. Now let's move to the users tab. In the display name field you can set how user names are displayed on the front end. You can leave it as it is simply the first name, or if your users agree to share their full names, you can select the full name option instead. A more private option is displaying the first name and the first letter of the last name. In the registration section, you can enable or disable user registration. This depends on your website niche, but in most cases it's better to allow website visitors to register because a user account is required for sending messages adding listings to favorites, and so on. If you select the registration terms page here, users will have to tick a checkbox with a link to this page in the registration form before registering an account. You can enable this option if you want to generate a username from the email address automatically instead of showing a separate username field in the registration form. I recommend enabling email verification to ensure every email on your website is authentic. Also, it's really important to restrict access to the WordPress backend for regular users 
to prevent any potential security issues. So, let's move on. Messages. In the sending section, you can enable attachments to allow users to send attachments via messages. And here, you can select the file types that can be attached. If you enable monitoring, then you and your website administrators will be able to monitor all the conversations on your job board website. Here, you can set a list of blocked keywords. This means that all the messages containing these keywords will be blocked. In the storage section, you can enable or disable storing messages in the database. When disabled, this option basically sends all the messages via email instead of storing and displaying them on the site. If this option is enabled, you can set the number of days to store messages on the site before they are deleted automatically. Alright, now let's move to the Geolocation tab. Here are various settings that allow you to set up the geolocation functionality on your job board website. For example, here you can select the content types that should have the location features. By default, there are two types available – companies and job listings. In this field, you can choose the provider of maps and location data for your website. Currently, HiFress is integrated with Google Maps and Mapbox platforms. In the previous steps, we have already chosen Mapbox as a map provider, but you can decide to use Google Maps instead. Here, you can leave the countries field empty if your website allows listings from all over the world or select specific countries to restrict the location selection. Here, you can set a radius to define the location search area. It will allow users to see all the listings within a specified distance from a selected location. Alternatively, you can check this option to allow users to adjust the radius on their own, in the search form. Also, check this option if your country uses miles instead of kilometers for measuring distances. If you want to create a page for each region, you can check this option too. By default, the location search is based on the radius, but if you want to enable search by regions, such as countries, states and counties, you should check this option. When enabled, this will automatically generate pages similar to categories in the Jobs Regions section, and each page will display listings from the current region. Finally, if you want to hide the exact location on a map and show a cycle area instead of the map marker, check this option, but in the case at hand, I'll leave it as it is. Ok, now let's check the integration step. This tab contains all the third-party integration settings like ReCAPTCHA, Google Maps and Mapbox. Also, if you purchased any of the premium HiFresh themes or extensions, here you can set your license key in the HiFresh store section to enable automatic updates. As you can see, we already have the Mapbox API key set, but let's also enable ReCAPTCHA to protect the front-end forms from spam bots. To do this, it's necessary to sign up for an API key pair for this site. Let's go to the Google ReCAPTCHA service page. I'll leave the link to this page in the video description. Now, I'll briefly fill in all the fields. After you fill in the site details, simply copy both keys, go to your website and paste them into the corresponding fields. Then, select the forms you want to protect with the CAPTCHA. In this case, I'll choose the user registration form to prevent the spam bots from registering. That's it! We have just finished setting up HivePress. Now, let's move to the next video, where I'll show you how to add new job listings.